Про ситуацію на Сході. Developments of the situations in the ETO area, Colonel Andrea Lysenko, speaker of the Ministry of Defense on ETO issues. Good afternoon, dear colleagues. Last day, the situation in the ETO area uh, worsened except the section of the front line in Mariupol sector, the militant strength and shelling on the armed forces of Ukraine positions, in, uh, primarily in Lugansk sector, uh, in Stanichna Lugansk uh, district uh, at uh, 8 o'clock p.m. the militants opened fire using small arms near Donetsk railway station and at midnight near Stanitsa Lugansk in Novovadarsk district the militants opened fire using motors in Trakhizbinka uh, near midnight and uh, in Krimsk at 1 o'clock a.m. Uh, two other motor shellings took place at 5 o'clock in the morning. The grenade la launcher was used near 10 o'clock in the morning hostilities at this uh, front line uh, section resumed during three year, uh, hours. The occupants four times uh, shelled on Krimsk using bombardment artillery and twice they use mortars in Popesna uh, district. The hostilities continued all day long after 8 o'clock a.m. Almost uh, five hours the uh, militants fired uh, using cannons and mortars on the ATO forces positions in Novotoshkivsk. Uh, during the time they launched uh, nearly 80 shells, Ukrainian uh, servicemen returned fire uh, late uh, in the evening. The occupants uh, fired on our positions in Novoalexandrovka where they launched uh, 30 bombs in Troitsk in the evening. The militants opened fire of more Motors, artillery, and tanks during the day shot uh, shellings using mortars and uh, small arms took place in Novozvanivka, Papaska, and Katerininska. So, in Lugansk area, there were uh, 32 uh, shellings by militants, including 21 with the use of heavy weapons uh, in Donetsk uh, sector. Uh, in Svetlodarsk salient, Russian occupational forces uh, shelled on Novolugansk using that UAD uh, system. Uh, as a result of hostile shelling in Novolugansk, uh, two non-residential buildings were ruined as a result of uh, uh, hit by this uh, bomb. The fire started. Uh, in Gorlevka, in Gorlevka perimeter, perimeter, the shellings were both at daytime and nighttime. In Zaitseva and Verkhnatoretska, the occupants uh, uh, conducted one uh, uh, provocation using mortars uh, in Avdivka area between 5 and 7 o'clock p.m. The mortar shelling started near Kaminka and in Avdivka the militants many times opened uh, fire using uh, small arms in Donetsk airport. Uh, the situation was rather calm in Mariupol sector. Uh, the situation was much calmer than the day before yesterday. Uh, the uh, enemy opened uh, fire using heavy weapons very rarely. Mostly there were provocations uh, in the south of the sector. Uh, traditionally, uh, the enemy violates uh, ceasefire in Vadyan and Shirok, and uh, the enemy actively opened fire using uh, small arms, including sniper rifles. Hottest flash occurred a little uh, northwise near Chermalik, where the enemy three times during a day used mortar launches. Um, he launched them uh, two and three mines at a time. Uh, around 17 hours, the enemy also launched two shells from the multiple launch rocket system Grad Partisan. In Mariinsk district, um, uh, the occupant uh, became more active after the sunset. They launched two mines uh, from the uh, motor launches uh, of 82 millimeters, and um, they made bombardment from 
small arms and uh, uh, equipment, uh, military equipment at uh, APC during one hour and a half. Uh, totally in Mariupol sector, uh, there were 25 enemy shellings, including six from heavy weaponry. During the last uh, 24 hours, um, military actions didn't uh, didn't result in uh, killed m military men, but eight uh, servicemen were um, wounded. In the village Serognatevka, Volnohaha district, the Donetsk, re Donetsk region, the policemen prevented a man from sawing an ordinance to RPG-7, and it was detected that the actor wanted to earn money um, uh, is seeing this and uh, delivering uh, this and other dangerous uh, objects uh, for to be transformed into metal scraps. According to the legislation, uh, this act uh, provides for criminal responsibility. According to the prog SBU program, you are waited at home. Um, another former militant uh, came back to peaceful life. In uh, June 2014, uh, a resident of Lugansk region joined uh, the illegal um, formation of the LPR and went to the uh, so-called checkpoint to carry a duty, but uh, already in a month, uh, re realizing uh, his mistake, he left uh, the militants and sometime he was hiding in Russia. Um, uh, learning about the SBU program, uh, we awaited at home from his acquaintances. He used the chance to come back to his family, and uh, he, he wasn't mistaken. In Odessa, in Odessa SBU detected internet provider who um, were trying to make an, uh, an illegal routing to the traffic to the uh, so-called LPR. Law enforcement bodies detected that owners of the company registered their affiliation at uh, the temporary occupied um, territory and paid uh, taxes to fake structures of um, the militants. During the investigation um, in the provider's office, um, uh, special service detected telecommunication equipment and documentation that uh, confirmed the illegal activity of the, this commercial structure. This is all information. Thank you very much. If you don't have any more questions, then the next briefing on the ATO situation uh, will be uh, delivered tomorrow at 